Dr. Alvarez again. We are here for our summer recap, June and July. So we have a couple of our months that we are celebrating. One of them is our LGBTQ Pride Month. We also have Caribbean American Heritage Month and our Disability Pride Month. Each of these times we're here to celebrate our similarities, our differences, and actually to just have fun regarding all the differences we have together. Saturday, June 18th, we had a parade celebrating Juneteenth, which is Freedom Day, Emancipation Day, celebrated really on June 19th. This is the day that enslaved people found out that a year earlier, slavery was abolished. They finally got to celebrate the 13th Amendment. I'd like to wish a belated Father's Day to all our D91 fathers and father figures. Thank you for all you do for our children, for your families, for our community. You are truly appreciated here in District 91. As we enter July, we walk into social wellness and self-care. This is a time for our relationships to be healthy, reflect on them, as well as taking care of ourselves, knowing who we are and what we aim to do as we put our goals first. And as you can see, I'm wearing my red, white, and blue as we celebrate 4th of July in July a day for us to celebrate together, have our picnics, have our barbecues, and also appreciate the independence that we have. A fun fact, actually the Declaration of Independence was going to be signed on July 2nd, but later on declared on July 4th. July is also French American Heritage Month. This is an opportunity for all of us to learn a little bit more regarding our French brothers and sisters. Then take some time to thank all of our summer school staff, our children, our families who participated this summer during ESY and our summer school. Thank you so much for making this a very successful summer school. I'm super excited to introduce two new members to District 91. We have Dr. Robert Hubbard, who will be joining us as Assistant Superintendent of Finance and Operations. Um, please be on the lookout as he will be walking around and meeting everyone. We also have a new assistant principal at Forest Park Middle School, Kevin Bacon. He as well will be walking around, meeting our families, our students, and our community. As promised, we have now unified our North and South Side Parent Teacher Organization, our new PTO. Please be on the lookout for some social gathering that will be happening from our PTO. Congratulations to all our online registration winners. I'm gonna take some time to read some of our winners' names. We have Arlo Hosfield from Betsy Ross, May Bredup from Garfield, Rina Ramadani from Field Stevenson, Layla Johnson from Grant White, who will also be attending Field Stevenson in the fall, Nina Sadio from Forest Park Middle School, each of our winners have won a $20 brown cow gift card and a day pass to the pool. Congratulations to all of them, to our families, for getting on time for our registration. As a reminder, please do not forget to provide your proof of residency for registration. You still have up to August to provide us that information. There is also an opportunity to continue to come on if you need support here at the district office at 424 Desplaines Avenue. We are here from three to seven o'clock and the, uh, the next one to come in is July 12th where we can be here to support you as you register your child. There is also the opportunity to email us at registration at fpsd91.org. Email us for any support and we will get back to you. As you have heard during our board meetings, we will be providing free transportation for all our students in K to eighth grade. This is an opportunity to, for you to let us know if this is something you want. You will find it on our website. There's a form there that you could fill out saying that you are interested, but please be on the lookout for actual registration that will be coming out sometime in August so that we can go ahead and provide you the right location for pickup and drop off for each of our children in K to eighth grade. Thank you for your patience on that. District 91 has now had the opportunity to partner with Triton College to provide English as a second language, um, English classes, as well as citizen classes for any of our community members. This will be offered at our school buildings 
It will be free for anyone who wants to join. The only thing we are asking for is to please provide us. If you are interested, please be on the lookout for it in our website. It will be provided for all languages. Tenemos la oportunidad de colaborar con el Colegio Triton. Ellos nos van a dar clases de inglés y de ciudadanía. Si ustedes están interesados, por favor vean la información o la forma que está ahí en el website. Gracias. Looking forward to seeing everyone either virtually or in person for our next board meeting July 14th at 6.30 Forest Park Middle School. Lastly, I am looking forward to seeing everyone back in the fall. Make sure you get your rest during the summer, but before anything, don't forget that our back to school event will be August 16th on Tuesday. Looking forward to celebrating the end of the summer, getting our children back into class in the fall, in August. And overall, please just have a great rest of your summer. Thank you for watching this recap.